Emirates is a prominent airline renowned for its addiction to wide-body aircraft, making its interest in the rising star A350 a logical progression. However, what's surprising is why they've wasted so long to start operating it. With extensive experience in managing massive wide-body fleets, Emirates A350 program is poised to revolutionize the standards of air travel in this segment. How will this transformation influence the industry? What led the airline to select it for its operations? Discover the answers in today's episode. Due to some delays from the original purpose, Emirates considers to receive the first Airbus A350 on September 2024. The thing that this airline delays taking the aircraft for operation due to the supply chain from Airbus. It has been a common problem among the manufacturers recently. Emirates was expected to be one of the top operators of A350, with the purchasing 50 aircraft on September 20th, 19. In the recent, the total orders with Airbus is up to 65 A350-900. Among three big airlines in the Middle East, Emirates is the latest airline who start operating this aircraft. Qatar Airways received it soon and became the opening customer for both two variants 900 and 1000. Besides, EAD Airline has just started to use this aircraft A350-1000 on March 2022 after a series of delays. This airline confirmed that they are expecting the first 900 aircraft variant will come on September 20th, 24. According to KH Times, perhaps they will receive up to 5 A350 before this year ends. Deputy CEO and Chief Operating Officer of Emirates, Adele Alreda, stated this at the event Dubai Eye and Web 3 that happened on May 20th, 24. They also said that it will have 10 new aircraft enter its fleets before March 31, 2025. However, with the supply chain issue with the first delivery batch, perhaps due to the receiving, 10 aircraft will be stretched for a long time. Emirates' first A350 will be configured with 312 seats, including 259 in economy class, 21 in premium economy, and 32 in business class. Additionally, according to a 2023 press release, Emirates will become the first airline to utilize the high bandwidth connectivity plus connectivity solution independent of Airbus's manufacturer systems, ensuring that passengers will experience the most advanced and continuous broadband connectivity available on board. In terms of existing aircraft, the closest in size to the A350-900 is the Boeing 777-200LR, which has a configuration of 302 seats, including 38 in business class and 264 in economy class. Emirates will also soon operate the Boeing 787-9, which is similarly sized. On November 20, 23, the airline adjusted its order with Boeing, committing to purchase an additional 15787-9. This demonstrates the flexibility in the airline's fleet management strategy. It also reflects Emirates' confidence in the quality of Boeing aircraft and its ability to meet market demands. At the same time, this decision showcases the airline's long-term vision for service development and network expansion in the future. Do you believe that Emirates chose Dreamliner for its quality, or something else? While the A350-900 and Dreamliner-9 have similar capacities, they have different range capabilities. Based on the range specifications published on the Airbus and Boeing websites, the A350-900 has a superior range of 8,300 nautical miles, 15,372 kilometers, compared to 6,000 nautical miles, 11,730 kilometers for the Dreamliner-9. If you love flying on wide and comfortable body aircraft, their fleet is really a great choice for you. Although these numbers supply clear views about the difference between the two types of aircraft, it needs to be noted that these are just promote numbers and can't show completely the reality. However, the important thing is when the old Boeing 777-200LRs are withdrawn, the A350 will broaden the ability to serve further destinations. Meanwhile, Dreamliner will be focused the flights on the nearer destinations. So what route will this new aircraft serve? Hold on. You won't want to miss the latest breaking news and our unique insights into aviation. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for being here with us. At the beginning of this year, Emirates states the plan for the operation of the first nine routes by the A350, with the inauguration flight intending to fly between the International Dubai Airport and Bahrain. Although this flight was initially planned for September 15th, it was delayed to November due to a supply chain problem from the manufacturer. If there is no extra delay, the aircraft intends to be operated in December. The supply chain issue from Airbus forced Emirates to continue using the old aircraft. 
Mr. Alretta said that they had to extend further the serving time of these aircraft. Therefore, they improved and upgraded the old 777 to carry passengers without a bad effect on passengers' experience. About the plan for routes, the Airbus Aircraft 900 variant will serve the routes between Dubai and the short and medium destinations including Ahmedabad, Bologna, Edinburgh, Mumbai, Colombo, and Lyon. With the thing that A350 is a completely new aircraft with its fleet, Emirates will start to operate the nearer destinations such as Bahrain and Kuwait, helping the crew as fastly near the aircraft. This lets them fly at least two flights every day. Emirates announced that they will reveal more new destinations in the next months when the A350 comes. The passengers who expect them to operate soon, this aircraft will be excited about these new aircraft. So, let's see how they arrange and plan for their new fleet. Previously, in 2019, Emirates made a major deal at the Dubai Air Show, ordering 50 A350 aircraft with a total value of up to $16 billion at list prices. Last year, at the same event, the airline expanded the order by an additional 15, resulting in a new deal worth $6 billion. Regarding the larger 1000 version, Emirates President Sir Tim Clark publicly expressed that the airline could order up to 50 units, as long as there are no issues related to the Trent XWB-97 engine. He emphasized that the engine needs to perform reliably on the wing, and stated that if the engine operates stably as expected, with support from Rolls-Royce and Airbus, Emirates would reconsider the possibility of adding the A350-1000 to its fleet. The president of Emirates emphasized that he does not want aircraft that frequently experience issues, stating, We do not buy defective planes. Nevertheless, he also considers the A350-1000 a potential aircraft model. If Emirates decides to order the largest version in the A350 family, the quantity will range from 35 to 50 units. However, the airline currently has no plans to order this type of aircraft, as the engine can only meet about one quarter of the cycles that Emirates desires. The first 900 variant that Emirates received has been given the test code name Foxtrot Whiskey, Zulu, Golf Alpha, and will have the official registration code Alpha 6 Echo X-Ray Alpha. The serial number of this aircraft is 684. According to information from Aviation Flights, this A350 was first spotted on May 20th, 24, when it was fully painted, but not yet equipped with engines. By August, the aircraft had its engines installed, and on September 12th, an engine test along with a taxi test was conducted to ensure all systems were functioning normally. In addition to this 900 variant, Emirates has several other aircraft in various stages of completion, each carrying different codes such as Alpha 6 Echo X-Ray Bravo and Echo X-Ray Charlie. This indicates that Emirates is actively preparing for its Airbus aircraft fleet. Another aircraft with the MSN 694 code has also been noted as a future A350 for the airline, but information about its exact registration code has not yet been released. Emirates is currently entering the final stage of preparation for the operational introduction of the new aircraft, with several units undergoing completion steps and testing before officially joining the fleet. During production, each aircraft will carry its unique code, but when delivered to Emirates, they will be assigned registration codes according to the airline system, such as Alpha 6 Echo X-Ray Alpha. The specific registration codes of other A350s are also anticipated based on previously used coding patterns. Operationally, these aircraft will be equipped with premium economy seats, a class that sits between economy and business class, offering passengers a more comfortable option at a more affordable price compared to business class. This is part of Emirates' product upgrade strategy, which also includes plans to how uh, refurbish its entire fleet of 200 A380 and Boeing 777 aircraft. The upgrades involve the installation of additional premium economy seats and enhancements across first, business, and economy class cabins. The first upgraded A380 returned to service on January 20th, 23, followed by the Boeing 777 entering operations on August 20th, 24. The addition of the A350 aircraft will expand Emirates' capability to serve passengers with a wider and more modern flying experience, especially as more travelers have the opportunity to enjoy premium economy on the airline's new routes. So what do you think about the Emirates choosing to operate the A350? Are you excited when it operates with the airline? Please share your thoughts by leaving a comment. Thanks and wish you always have the safe flights.